All right, everybody, I am very excited to be with Mike Wardian today. He's an Inside Tracker power user, and more importantly, he's a champion, literally a champion marathon and ultra marathon runner. Um, I'm going to let him tell you guys all about the cool things that he's done and how he came to Inside Tracker. But, Mike, um, one thing that I will say that I was very impressed by when I first heard of you is that you are the world record holder for the 50K on a treadmill, which I just thought was so yeah. impressive. I'm like, I could run about, I don't know, 50 seconds on a treadmill. And that's about it, as long as I last. So. Yeah, yeah. It was, I was, it was pretty funny. I was able to do that uh, on a Spartan cruise of all places uh, in the middle of the ocean. And then uh, I did it once and I thought I set the record and I didn't. And so I did it again like 30 hours later and got the record. And then uh, – I actually, I actually wore the shirt. This is the shirt. I yes. did it again for one of my sponsors, Hoka, at their sales meeting, and they made up like these cool shirts and everything. And um, so I was able to break three hours. I ran like 2.59 in the marathon. Or, I'm sorry, the 50K. So, so you did this crazy thing. Um, tell us the story of how you actually came to find Inside Tracker, because obviously a lot of runners, uh, especially distance runners, use our, our service, but I'd love to hear your story. Yeah, I was actually lucky. I um, didn't know much about it. I'd always um, run with guys who were like, oh, I'm getting my, you know, blood tested and like um, my B12 is low or I have low iron because that's a thing that a lot of runners get is low iron. Uh, and I was just like, I don't even know how you do that or where you go for that or like, do I just go see my doctor for that and ask him? And so that's what I was doing as like once a year, I'd say like, Hey, can you just do a full run up on like, make sure that I'm okay. And of course, like it's super generic. Like they're just testing to make sure you're like, you're not like diabetic or, or like have any kind of normal people problems. So, um, Jonathan, one of the guys at inside tracker, like, uh, follows me on social media, which I just love social media. I think it's like the coolest thing because you can connect with everybody. And he was like, Hey, you should check out, um, inside tracker. And I was like, well, I, I don't know what that is, but yeah, sure. I'll cause <laughs> he's very the, convincing. Well, clearly. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it, was, it was, yeah, he's very convincing, but it was also like, I looked at it and I was like, wow, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Like right. someone actually showed me where you can do this. Um, and then I tried it. And I was like, this is like really important stuff that I want to know um, and I think is useful. And it's really kind of changed how I've been able to address some of my um, eating habits and then also um, just making sure that I'm doing the right things. Like uh, the way that uh, I think about it is, is like, you know, you, I can eat like five bananas, but maybe it's better to eat like a bowl of blueberries or something. And so like, you it's like, it. <laughs> they're both good choices, but maybe for me, the better choice is the blueberries. And like that stuff, like I usually make good choices. So I was like, I don't really need that. But right. then I was surprised at how much like you can impact the results and, and you feel a little bit better because you're making a healthier choice for yourself rather so, than just a healthy choice for the general population. Yeah, so I know we talked about this um, actually before we got on, on this uh, video Skype, but <laughs> you said something very funny, so I'll let you say it again. I said, I always ask people, what was like the most surprising thing that they found out? Because there's no one that is not surprised by something, no matter how healthy or how solid your biomarkers actually might be at any given point in time. Everybody's always surprised. So, well, well, yeah, there was a couple of things like I was surprised about. Like, first off, like I just thought I was going to be perfect. Like right. I was going to have nothing wrong or nothing that it's not really wrong, right? The way that it's phrased is like that you can work on, which it's cool because like you can address it through modifying your diet right. if you're if you're willing to. And like I always consider myself as like an experiment of one, so like I'm willing to try um, things if if I think that it's going to help me uh, achieve what I want to achieve. Um, you know, and so I was I was open to it. I think some people are just like, no, I'm you know I don't I'm. I'm not going to change no matter what you say. So I think being open to it, but like the thing I was most surprised about was like, I was like, yeah, like my sex marker thing, you know, was like, 
I don't know, like you don't have a sex drive. And I was like, that's not true. Like, <laughs> that's not true. Like, I don't know why you think that. Uh, and <laughs> I think it's also interesting is like, because if depending on when you get tested, like uh, the first time I got tested right after I'd done like a hundred mile race. And so like all my biomarkers are like, you know, you have severe damage to your cells. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I do. I, I know this. Um, but like, it's cool when you go back and you're like in a recovery phase, like, you know, it's maybe I just did a 50 miler this last week in the JFK 50 miler. And I'm sure my biomarkers are probably like a third of the last test I had just because, uh, it wasn't as far and, and I've had, you know, more time to recover from before I take another test. So, and I think it's cool that you can track your progress over time. So you can right. say like, I'm going to try to address, uh, these four things and then, uh, see if it impacts your biomarkers. And, and, I, I, and that's what I like is cool. It's kind of like how you build a training program and you say like, okay, I want to be, uh, a, uh, 217 marathon runner. Um, right now I'm a 230 marathon runner. I'm going to do these things and then you can see the progress towards your goal or whatever that goal might be. Right. And I love that you, um, <laughs> that you made jo joking reference, but it's true to, uh, testing your blood after a hundred, hundred miler. Did you say hundred miler? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like as I'm repeating and I'm like, that actually sounds insane, but I do know people who've done that. Um, but yeah, yeah it's actually quite fun, man. You should try one sometime. Are... <laughs> he says to the sprinter. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. I'll leave that to you. I'll beat anyone in a sprint, but as Jonathan knows very well, <laughs> no long distances for Aaron. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we'll get into a genetic mutations another time. <laughs> but, right, right. but, but, but in all well, seriousness, I should just have you pace like the last like 30 miles of the race or something, or just on the track at like one of the big races. I'll just crawl. Um, so, <laughs> or I'll swim beside you, but kidding aside though, I do like that you brought that up because it's totally true. We see that with athletes, right? After a big event, whether it's a hundred mile or, or a Spartan race, or I don't know, a Super Bowl, right? Some, some point where you're, where you're pushing your body past limit, of course, your biomarkers are going to change, but that's because it's a reflection of a moment in time. And it's the same for regular people who are not running a hundred miles or yeah. in the Olympics, you know, you could have. I don't know, gone to dinner and drank two bottles of wine. Not that I suggest that, but it happens to people. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, your liver Well, then I get to drive home. That's usually what happens. <laughs> right. So um, I guess this has been great. In, in closing, I would just ask, um, since you are the expert ultra marathon runner, and that's a pretty unique thing to do, what would you recommend to people um, watching who are considering doing that or even considering doing a marathon in terms of taking care uh of their body? Uh, taking care of their body or, or for a marathon. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think, I think that like most things I, I would recommend starting to train for it first. I mean, when I, I, uh, did my first marathon, I trained for like a year and I was pretty confident I was going to be able to finish it, but I don't think, um, getting overwhelmed. I think like what's cool about it is you can, basically do these things like 100 milers, um, 50 milers, uh, ultra marathons, and you can almost walk the entire thing and still make it and be fine as long as you keep eating and you keep drinking. So don't be intimidated by the distance, um, but do the work necessary to get to the finish line. And I think it's, it's amazing. And and don't be um, put off by people saying that it's impossible or like, ah, oh, I can't even drive that far or anything like that. Like, <laughs> Who says it's, that? <laughs> uh, it, it's such an amazing uh, accomplishment and, and you'll get such a um, sense of fulfillment that um, I highly recommend just picking one or if it, if it at all interests you, um, picking, picking something that looks really inspiring and um, – it's going to get you out the door every, each and every day. And then, um, you'll have all this anticipation leading up to it. Uh, and then, um, when you get it done, you get like a crazy cool belt buckle. If you do a hundred miler, uh, that you can wear around and, uh, it's, it's pretty low key compared to a lot of the races, you know, but it's, it's pretty unique. And so, um, I, uh, I find it completely fascinating and I think other people will too. And don't, don't be, uh, 
don't be scared. It's uh, it's fun and it doesn't uh, hurt to scare yourself sometimes if you are scared. So sign up for it and go for it. Wise words. That's very true about scaring yourself sometimes. And uh, then you can wear your nifty Rocky style belt buckle on your next hundred miler. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, next time we talk, I'm going to make you wear that buckle. <laughs> in the okay, cool. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I've got a couple Thanks. so far, so I'm, I'm working on getting some more. Okay, we can wear all of them draped around your neck, you know, <laughs> like a real champ. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it. No problem. My pleasure. Bye, guys. Bye.